Hello everyone, my name is Zell. Today I'm going to be showing off a few of the large railguns that I've made, large ship Gatling railguns that I've made in Space Engineers here. Uh, we'll start off with the big, most exciting one first. This one here is actually based off one from the workshop that I found. Uh, somebody named Top Oxygen created this little one here. It's a it uses small ship railguns, and you start it like this, and it'll immediately start firing at this. Set up some targets. Yeah, so I'll leave the link to this one in the description below. Uh, but anyways, I was inspired by this one to build this giant one here. And did I actually turn that off? This one is basically the same. It is able to fire continuously. I've set it up with timer blocks, which I did not link up here, but I did put it on this button down here so I can link or start it up by clicking the start fire button and you see it will slowly start to fire rounds into the target that we've got there which is uh, pretty satisfying and this will just go continuously now I don't know why anyone would ever need a Gatling railgun this big but you know it's pretty amazing and this was like several blocks thick of heavy armor that I just tested through and it just pierced that almost immediately which is not surprising uh, but yeah Tantus was cool and then I made another design of this one I'm just gonna turn this off for now because that's, that's pretty loud isn't it yeah uh, and it's it's kind of unstable honestly which is not surprising Okay, uh, we'll move on to this next one, which is, I attached it to a hinge, because I thought, you know, it might be a good idea to make it into a turret, and no, that would be a terrible idea, so it's on a hinge, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll test this one out. It's the same thing as this, it just doesn't have the extra round of railguns on the side here, like this one I added extra railguns. And if you're wondering how this works, by the way, I have the railguns set up linked on a hinge, uh, hinges connecting to each other. And then there's sensors on each railgun that's linked to the railgun it atta is, is attached to. So every time the railgun moves past this when the rotor moves, the sensor will activate and it'll fire a, a railgun round. So that's how that works, if you were wondering. And I will fire this one next. Start firing. And you see this one also works pretty fast. For it also fires continuously, but it's not as fast as that one there, obviously. Um, and it's really unstable because it's on a hinge. Uh, as you can see, it's already bending over a bit. Um, yeah, so this one also not too practical, but it is fun to play around with. And I will show you guys afterwards. Uh, I'll experiment a bit more and show you some other fun things I've been able to do with these but this one here is a this is a much smaller version and probably my favorite honestly because it's much more practical for one thing i think it looks really cool in my personal opinion and i i did add rails in the center as well that you could fire manually at one point but i thought it looked a bit weird so i removed them i might try to figure out how to redesign this properly but i'm thinking uh redesigning this one or designing a ship built around this thing or making some kind of turret so anyways let's start it you see it fires. It can fire up to three at once sometimes, uh, but usually it fires one. Once you first start it, it'll fire three shots. Um, and then it'll just loop around. It does the same thing with sensors, so each time it goes over a sensor, it'll fire a shot from one of these railguns. And it cannot fire continuously because the railguns, the large ship railguns anyway, they take 60 seconds to recharge fully. Uh, so this one can, it has 12 railguns, so it can fire 12 rounds per minute. Um, which is not too terrible, but, oh, <laughs> whoops, that's, <laughs> that's very unstable. Okay, yeah, so I set up this target. You see, it still does pretty good damage, honestly. And of course, if you're actually rotating the ship and stuff, it's going to be doing a lot more damage than this, so that's always good to see. I don't think, no, this one's not on a hinge. Uh, this one... Now that it's broken, it's not as useful. It has... I'm just going to do this just to see what happens. Hold on. And that says fire all the railguns at once. <laughs> uh, okay. That's always fun to do. Uh, yeah, but this one has 37 railguns, and this one has 74 railguns that continuously go around in the loop and fire. And that one I'm not sure. I, 
I didn't design that one, so I don't know. I think that one also might have 74, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that. But I, I will leave the link uh, to the workshop link to all these in the description below if you guys are interested in downloading them for yourselves. But now I want to try, I want to show you guys something really fun that can be done with these. And oh, I just have, I have a lot of fun every time I do this. So it's a bit crazy. It's probably going to fall apart. It's kind of like an overcharge, is what I call it. So if I go into the advanced rotor here, you see, and uh, change the RPM a bit, just to have some fun. I'll change it all the way up to 10. And I think you guys might know what's going to happen here. Here, let me... Now, you see, you start, the, start it rotating, and it's going to go kind of crazy. <laughs> and just fire a bunch of railgun rounds. <laughs> uh, it's like a quick, rapid-fire type thing. It of course has to reload and it takes a while after it does that and it misses a lot of shots but you know it's really fun I'm just gonna you can do the same thing here I'm just gonna copy it again put that there you can see oh I copied it before doing the seat thing and eh, that's fine I'll just go down here on this panel and actually I'll just show this is what happens when you fire them all at once the game can't even really understand what's happening when you fire them that quickly, so it, it just fires a bunch of rounds at once. It looks really crazy. It's much more satisfying if you only fire the uh, inner rails here. I'll show you that. There. Oh, you see that one started firing again. Oh, goodness. That is pretty crazy. It's actually pretty stable. I'm surprised. It's now that it's on a planet. Uh, let's, let's turn this one off as well. There we go. It should slow down to a halt now. Okay. And it, it doesn't fire from there because it's spinning so fast. The railgun starts charging right there, but then it fires all the way at the top, which is kind of funny. Uh, anyway, all that one set them to fire once. You can see it makes a cooler effect, but for some reason they're still deleting some of the rounds, which is a bit crazy. And then if I go back over here, I'll just copy and paste that again. And we can maximize the speed all the way up to the max of 30 and then start firing and we'll see. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, <laughs> just a little bit. And it is actually really stable, um, surprisingly, without a hinge, even when rotating at this speed. See, it's creating some kind of weird smoke. I don't know what's causing that, because I don't think anything's damaged, really. But maybe some of those railguns did get damaged in the process. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, it's good for rapid-fire shots, but of course, this is not really practical under many circumstances. Uh, I'll make sure to uh, post a version without the hinge for all of these. Oops. There we go. Because the hinge is... Uh, not at all stable. It does not work. You cannot use this as a turret. I'm, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, which, which makes sense because yeah, that's unstable. I've tried stabilizing the hinge, and it, every time it just fell off. So, not really able to do that. Now I think we can show off with this one. Yeah, this one you can kind of see it better how it fires all at once. But I think, oh yeah, that looks really cool too. It leaves a nice. Uh, area of penetration pe penetrates three blocks each, which is quite nice. Three blocks of heavy armor, anyway. I think it can pierce up to like 15 light armor blocks or something, maybe even up to 20. It's kind of ridiculous, those large railguns. I think, yeah, I'm going to be designing more of these railguns, and I'll probably do a video in the future, but I think this one is my personal favorite, just because it fires nice and slow, it's not super overpowered, it's not super large either, and it would actually be practical for use in a ship. And all of these are, not that it matters, they're all linked up to conveyors, so they can be used in survival if you decide to do that for some reason. Uh, yeah, that, oh, there we go again, that's <laughs> rapid firing. Let's see, uh, let's test out some other speed, shall we? Change the rotor to a bit of like 5 RPM, I think. Should be fine. 9.95 seems to be the sweet spot, though. Like the best area for 
firing this. Makes so much noise. <laughs> oh, the noise is crazy. These are so much fun to play around with, so I'm definitely gonna link these in the description for you guys. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video of me testing out these amazing Gatling railguns. And I'm just so glad I found this one, the video. I'll link the video to this one and the workshop link to uh, Top Oxygen's video on this railgun in the description. This is what inspired me to make those large railguns over there. I was like, hey, I wonder if this would work as a large railgun or for a large ship. And it, uh, it does. So, oh, that's kind of weird. Look at the rounds are like bouncing. I wonder why that is. Huh. Interesting. Let's see, it's, it's, oh, good, good grief. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Whoa, we got hit by one of the rounds. Okay, it's, it seems to have completely pierced through my ship here. It's, it's, these are two ancient ships that I have. I built these so long ago, I just decided to pay something in to make us targets. Oh goodness, this is... This is such a fun noise to hear in the background. Oh my god, and look at them firing! <laughs> it's so satisfying to watch. I think I like them more when they're rapid firing like this, honestly, but of course they can't fire continuously if you do that. Oh goodness. This is the uh, best one. I might try to make bigger ones, I don't know. To see how that does. Oh goodness, this is crazy. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and <laughs> I'll post all these links in the description below. I gotta get those all uh, uploaded to the workshop and everything. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just upload these with just the conveyor with the timers on it. Uh, so this timer, the, how it works basically for each of them is just, I have a start firing timer, you click start and it'll start firing, and then a stop firing timer, and you click start and it'll stop firing. So that's how that works. Um, I'm not going to have the hinges of course because that's extremely unstable. Um, you can probably add that yourself if you want, I don't know. Uh, it should be fine. And yeah, I'll just have this conveyor here with the rotor attached and then that should allow you guys to paste it. You'll need a lot of reactors to keep this going. If you see here, I have a ton of reactors uh, because these railguns take a lot of power to recharge, of course. Uh, you need, I think, one reactor for every eight railguns, which honestly is pretty good. Or one large reactor, sorry. But yeah, that's, that's pretty sustainable, honestly. It's pretty great. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.